Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are going to be doing a remake of the last video that went up. It was the Venice Espresso. You can see it right there in the top left hand corner of your screen. Now this layout that I'm doing right here, it was done at the breakfast table. So the view's kind of a little bit different and I'm also gonna be off screen in a couple of places. And I'm also going to be losing a footage. Usually if I'm in my room, if I don't have my headphones in, I can hear my camera shut off. But I was out at the breakfast table, like I said, and my husband was watching TV and I could hardly even hear myself think because the volume was so loud. If you guys had a chance to see that video I did where I accidentally forgot to mute it, you will know what exactly I'm talking about. So I did pull out this Vicky Booten pad, paper pad, and I really wanted to use this craft color because like you can see in the original, I did use a craft border around it. So I thought I would stick with that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim down this very pretty kind of cloudy, watercolory looking paper. That was also from that paper pad, I do believe. I'm just gonna use that right there as my background. Let me go ahead and stick that down if I can find my glue. Now, I do end up inking the edges with the toffee close to my heart ink. I don't recall if I inked the edges of the original layout or not, but this does turn out pretty similar. In fact, this is um this isn't necessarily a layout that I was trying to improve on. I really did like this original layout. In fact, I think I like the original layout much better than what I end up putting together here for this second part. Now I am going to be using these photos of Riley. I will end up matting those as we go along here. I found this cut apart sheet that was in that Vicky boot and paper pad. I want to use that one piece right there for my journaling. I have not wrote, wrote, written. I'm not sure. I didn't write any journaling on it yet, but you see how it kind of has the, that word down there at the bottom. I don't really recall what it says, but it didn't really pertain to what I was going to be doing. So I will end up covering that up. I am going to get some of these hearts on there. That heart paper. Oh my gosh, that might be one of my favorite papers that were in that paper pad. It is so cute. Isn't that so stinking cute? I am going to put a little bit over the photo and then the rest of it will be under some pieces. This right here is the inside of the the craft color paper that I use as a border. If you're paying attention, like I was not, but I do recall that it <laughs> that this is how it was. This was kind of the inset or not kind of this was the inset of that paper and I wanted to save it. And I ended up uh, matting my photos with it. It was funny because I wanted to save it for journaling at a later time, but it happened to be there on my table. So I just went ahead and used it. I do still have my funny little scissors out. Um, those, what are those scissors called guys? Do you guys remember what those are called? Deco, are they called deco scissors? I don't know. I do use them a little bit on this page, on this page um, here coming up. It was kind of an afterthought. So on some of them, I actually do cut the paper while they are sitting on the layout. Now, like in the original video, I don't, I don't know why I did it this way. This is not, I did not see the video before I put together this layout, but in the original video, I did the same thing where I started putting the pieces together before it was even on the page. I don't know why I do that. It's like I try to make things hard on myself or something. I think it would be much easier if I just stuck the pieces down instead of trying to put them together, not on the page. So we do have a lot of little, a lot of little tucking and layery bits going on around in here. I really wasn't sure what to title this. Now, when you look at this, it kind of looks more grid-like than the original one. I don't think the intention was to make it a grid, but looking at looking back at it, it does actually quite look like a grid. I am gonna be using this blue paper to fill in right there. The reason I wanted to pull out some blue and put some blue on this page is because I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know I was gonna title it. So I ended up pulling out those Chamel thickers that are glittery, and I'm just gonna use a pre-made word and it's gonna say play 
because that's how creative I am. Here on this piece right here, I'm off screen that I was using those deco scissors on and I will also end up using them on some other pieces as well. I'm going to go ahead and trim that up, tack these down just a little bit. I will eventually commit to the placement of this uh, piece I have. Here I am ripping open or cutting open that, pa that um, paper, paper pack. Jeez Louise, the thicker pack, the Chamel thicker pack. And that's where I decide I'm going to be using that word uh, play on there. Right there is where I was cutting some of the other papers to get that decorative edge. Still doing it. I didn't edit this very good. I kind of like would have liked to have not had that um, still in this video, but that's okay. Now, most of the footage I end up losing is all the fun stuff. It's all the embellishment. So if you look at the final pictures, you'll see that I did fussy cut out several flowers, the same flowers that are in that pink pattern paper. Right here, I'm flipping through that notebook that has just random pieces on it. I'm going to put several down around the page, just kind of trying them out, seeing if I'm going to use them. I do end up using the craft tag I pulled out. I use... Um, this tag right here i'm going to use it up on top again because i wanted to get some more navy blue on there i will end up um, just keeping it how it is i'm not going to punch a hole in it if you can believe that i will tie a bow with some crochet thread though and just glue it right on the top so you can't really tell if there's a hole in it or not i needed some more or wanted some more blue and what i'm going to end up doing that you guys aren't going to see is i pull out some wood veneer I pull out um, some heartwood veneer and I had colored them with the sapphire close to my heart ink to turn them blue. You will see those in the final picture. You'll see um, a few wood veneer hearts scattered around the page, only they don't necessarily look like wood veneer hearts because I did color them with the sapphire ink. I do pull this out. I just like that decorative detail that was on the side because I was using those deco scissors for some of the other pieces. I thought that kind of gave me a little something nice. Um, I'm going to put, put it on this other side as well just so I have a little bit more orange on there. See, it lost the whole footage of it putting it down. But you can see pretty much what I did. There's where I fussy cut the all those flowers out and stuck them down around the page. All right, guys. Um, sorry that I missed out on a bunch of stuff. I want to thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye guys.